In this video, I'm gonna show you how to run Windows 10 for free on a Mac. VMware have recently released a VMware Fusion 12, which is now free for personal use. So as long as you don't use the software for commercial reasons, you can now run Windows virtual machines and other virtual machines for free on a Mac. So I'm gonna show you how to download and install a VMware Workstation Fusion. I'm gonna show you how to import a free OVA or virtual machine from Microsoft, import that into VMware Fusion and run Windows 10 for free on your Mac. Okay, let's get started. Now in this example, I'm doing everything on this MacBook. I'm controlling the MacBook from my Mac here in front of me, but all the work is being done on this MacBook. The first thing we need is a virtual machine from Microsoft. You can get that from developer.microsoft.com. I've put all the links to the software below this video for your reference so you can use those to download the software. There are multiple virtual machines that you can download and use for free. So you could use IE8 on Windows 7 as an example, IE11 on Windows 8.1, but in our example, we're going to download MS Edge on Windows 10. And in my example, I wanna download this for VMware, Windows or Mac. So there are a whole bunch of virtual machines that you can download here for various platforms. You could use VirtualBox as an example, but in our example, I'm gonna use VMware Fusion and I'm gonna click download to download that zip file. Now in my example, it's gonna take a while to download. So while we're waiting for that to download, I'm gonna to go to vmware.com, go to products, scroll down on the left-hand side to desktop hypervisor, and I'm gonna select Fusion for Mac. So previously, before version 12 of VMware Fusion, you had to pay to use VMware Fusion on a Mac even if you were just using it for study purposes. But now you can get a free personal use license. This is for students, home users, and open source contributors. So in other words, you can use VMware Fusion for free for non-commercial use, but you do need to register an account. It's free once again. You simply need to register an account. They will email you a link where you can download the software. So in my example, I'm gonna log in to the VMware website you need to log in to get your code because you have to put a code in when you boot up the software. So after I've logged in, I can see my license agreement. This is once again free and I can download the DMG file for VMware Fusion. So I can click manually download. Now I've had problems using that link. So what you may need to do is use the link in the email that's sent to you. Once you register, they're gonna email you a download link. So here's my email as an example, and what I can do is download my copy of VMware Fusion. So that's now downloading, it's about 641 meg in size. What I have done actually is download the software before I started recording because of the amount of time it takes to download software like this. Now one thing to note per the Microsoft website is that these virtual machines expire after 90 days. Microsoft recommend setting a snapshot when you first install the virtual machine, which you can roll back to later. Mac users may also need a tool that supports Zip64 to unzip the files. This is a free utility that you can download and install on your Mac to unzip the zip file. Microsoft also give us the password to the virtual machine, which is password written like this. Now, because of the size of these files, I'm gonna use the files that I've previously downloaded. As an example, that VMware Edge zip file is 7.2 gig in size. So what I'll do is open the file that I previously downloaded. And there you go. So I've got a MS Edge Win 10 VMware directory with a VMDK file, MF file, and OVF file. We're going to open the OVF file once we've installed VMware Workstation Fusion on this Mac. So before we can import the virtual machine, we need to install VMware Fusion. So on the DMG file that's been downloaded, I'm gonna right click and click open to install the software. And now I can double click to install VMware Fusion on my Mac. Now, one of the problems you're gonna have with VMware Fusion on a Mac is all the permissions that are required to make the software work. 
So make sure that you follow the prompts carefully and permit VMware to basically control the Mac using accessibility options and other options. If you're not sure, shut VMware Fusion down and restart it to make sure that permissions are applied correctly. The file's been verified and we warned that VMware Fusion is an app that's been downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you wanna open it? Answer is yes, I wanna open it. We told that VMware Fusion requires administrative privileges to perform a one-time setup. So I'm gonna put in my password so that the software can be installed. So the software is being initialized. I'm prompted with a license agreement but I'm also prompted with a system extension blocked. I've been told that a program tried to load new extensions. Do I wanna allow that? And I'm gonna say open security preferences to allow it. So I'm gonna to have to put in my password once again. And then I'm told that system software from VMware was blocked from loading. I'm gonna allow that software. Okay, so on my VMware Fusion installation, I need to agree to the license agreement. I need to put in my license. That license is available on the VMware website, so log back into VMware, and then you'll be able to copy your license and paste it in. So I'll paste my license in and click Continue. Got to put in my password once again, and I'm told thank you for using VMware Fusion Player. I'm gonna click Done, and I'm gonna click OK to allow VMware Fusion to access control system events and open system preferences to allow VMware Fusion to control my computer. So I'll check this little checkbox. So in this version of Mac OS, there are so many security features, you have to allow a whole bunch of things before you can actually start using VMware Fusion. So once a VMware Fusion has installed, we can import the virtual machine that we downloaded from Microsoft. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to File, Import, I'm gonna choose the file to download. This is in my downloads directory, MS Edge Win 10 VMware. I'm gonna select the OVF file and I'm gonna click continue. I'm gonna click save to save this in my virtual machines directory. VMware is now importing that virtual machine that we downloaded from Microsoft. Now that process may take a while because it's quite a large import 7.2 gig in size. Okay, once it's imported, you can customize the settings, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm simply gonna click Finish. We asked, do we wanna upgrade the virtual machine? I'm gonna say yes, so I'm gonna click Upgrade. And what should happen now, hopefully, is the virtual machine should boot up. And there you go. We see a VMware logo, and now we see a Microsoft logo. We can see that the Microsoft virtual machine is booting up within VMware Fusion on this Mac. And there you go, we can see a date and time. I'll press enter and I can log in. The password once again from the Microsoft website is that. So password. And there you go, I've been able to log in to a Windows 10 virtual machine running on my Mac. I used free VMware Fusion software and I used a free virtual machine that I downloaded from Microsoft. So information about the virtual machine is shown here. You may not like that. So you can right click on the desktop and click personalize. And what I'll do is set this to a normal Microsoft background. Now what you can do as recommended is create a snapshot. So you probably wanna shut your virtual machine down to save on the size of your snapshot. Or you can take a snapshot right here. You can see that a snapshot has been taken of this virtual machine. Now VMware will install VMware tools onto the virtual machine to make it work better so that your mouse works better and that it resizes better. So I'm gonna click yes to reboot the virtual machine. Virtual machine is restarting. The virtual machine is now booting up and I'll be able to log back in again with my password.
VMware tools are a way to make the virtual machine interaction work better. So your mouse pointer will work better. It will be smoother. It allows you to resize the virtual machine more easily. So it's just a better way of doing things. So it's well worth installing VMware tools. So as we can see now, the virtual machine resolution is a lot higher. And we told that we have to log out and log back in again. So a bit of setup in the beginning, but it's well worth doing that because the interaction will be a lot better. So I'll right click on the desktop and personalize it again. I'll use the default Microsoft background. I can move this around and resize the virtual machine very, very easily. Here's the start menu, but I could start various applications as an example. There's Notepad, so this is Windows 10 in a virtual machine. I could start MS Edge and I'll open up a new tab and I could go to google.com and I could type something like date today to get today's date. Okay, so there you go. I've been able to download a free virtual machine from Microsoft, import that into VMware Fusion, which is now free from version 12, run that on my Mac. So I'm running Windows 10 within a virtual machine on my Mac. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. That really does help me with the YouTube robots. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and clicking on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal. want to wish you all the very best.